If you <laughs> want to go where the good Dominican women are, just hire us as a tourist, uh, a tour guide person, and we will take you there where they those good Dominican women are. <laughs> I will not be doing no. <laughs> ¿Cuál es tu opinión o cómo tú describirías a una mujer típica dominicana? Y yo hice, te voy a hacer dos preguntas a la misma vez. Yo hice un video anteriormente describiendo a tres tipos de mujeres dominicanas. Y, por ejemplo, yo quisiera, si tú podrías describirla en tu opinión, ¿cómo son? Eh, eh, cómo, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre algunas dominicanas? Eh, y después al final yo te diría cómo, cómo yo la describí. A ver, a ver, para saber tu opinión. What I'm asking her is what for her, what is her opinion in a, what is a typical Dominican woman? And I also mentioned that I did a video before talking about three different types of Dominican women. I want her to say what is, what are those different types that she can, uh, that she see on her opinion and then at the end I'm gonna tell her what was my description of them. <laughs> That's complete. Uh, Está complicado, ok, vamos a ver. Una mujer típica, una mujer típica dominicana. ¿cómo típica, tú o la ¿Qué no, no, ¿Qué hace? ¿Cómo es una mujer Diferente dominicana tipo. normal? Una mujer dominicana normal, ¿cómo es? O sea, ¿cómo es, cómo, cómo es ella? ¿Qué es lo que qué son las cosas que hace? ¿Cómo se comporta? O la diferente así. tipo de mujeres dominicanas. No, no, la primera es, ¿cómo es una mujer típica dominicana? Una mujer normal, o sea, ¿cómo se comporta? ¿Qué son las cosas que hacen? ¿Cómo es una mujer dominicana? Bueno. Eh, para mí la mujer dominicana es, bueno, dependiendo de donde es, de donde sea, como es y como la criaron. O sea, trabajadora, aunque hay muchas que no son trabajadoras, o sea, porque todo depende, pero sí, la mujer típica dominicana se conoce por ser trabajadora, eh, siempre del hogar que por el momento ahora no 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 no, no son muchas la cultura era así pero como que ha cambiado. cambiado las cosas han cambiado o sea eh, o más bien te voy a describir como yo soy sí describe como así yo creo que eso sería perfecto Ajá, describe porque... como tú eres como tú eres cómo te comportas las cosas que hace para esto es tu opinión uh -huh. por ejemplo eh, que soy trabajadora porque es que no puedo hablar como por todas no, en general. Uh -huh. Porque hay muchas que no lo son. Uh -huh. Entonces, soy trabajadora, soñadora, eh, una persona que lucha por lo que quiere, una persona que no le gusta depender de nadie. Mm, bueno, que me gustan los hombres románticos, que sean tranquilos. Eh, alegres, aventureros. Eso es lo que She was trying to describe how is a, a typical Dominican woman. At first, she started saying that they are different depending how what they come from and how they were raised. And then she also mentioned that I agree with that a lot of things have changed. That was the culture before. Now things have changed. Uh, but then she said that she want to describe how she is. It, that is the that is, that is the perfect description because she's describing herself uh, instead of trying to uh, describe what, how everybody is because everybody's not the same. But she said that she just she like she's a hard worker. She's a dreamer. She said she's very independent. She don't like to depend of of anyone. Uh, she like romantic men, uh, happy. That is basically what she said. If uh, yes. Uh, yeah. she's loyal, so uh, she, uh, now she mentioned that she's very loyal, she says that she's very loyal, that's another thing. Mm. Otra pregunta, Margaret, a veces cuando uno describía, yo cuando describí una de esas mujeres dominicanas, siempre, siempre digo que eso es algo que todavía en algunas familias, bueno, la mayoría es así, que son como muy orientadas a la familia, que siempre están con la familia, que a veces mucha antes iban como que eran muy de que iban a la iglesia y cosas así ya hoy en día sí, no muy pocas. pero muy pocas hasta pero el campo ya se han descargado ya, ya se han descargado <risa> pero más como que son muy familiares que siempre están con una familia muy apegada a la familia y cosas así bueno las que yo conozco 
el tipo de mujer dominicana, te voy a dar una descripción. Es la popi, que es la que tiene su dinero, que fiesta y fiesta. Hay algunas que no trabajan, otras que sí le gustan trabajar. Pero esa realmente eh, no, no le interesa, no se fija mucho en ay, que estar con un hombre por dinero, porque ya lo tiene. Ok, es la the primera. first that they should describe is the poppy. What we call him here, poppy. The poppy <laughs> one is the one that have money. The one that mm -hmm. is the, they only go to a lot of party. Uh, they like to just be out all the time. If they don't be looking at you because they want to be with you your money because they already have money. Some of them work and some of them don't work because they don't have to work. So that is, in my video, I will describe that one as a child, child, one yeah that would be type one that's the one they have money even if they uh want to be in relationship with you it's not because you have money basically if you like that if, if they like you they will be with you because they don't need your money they don't need to be with you for your money okay la segunda es que es ya la del campo eh, esas ya son más hogareñas son más tranquilas son más um, como te explico ya tiene la cultura más de, de guiarse por un hombre, uh -huh. o sea, todo lo que dice el hombre. Pero ya como está la modernidad de ahora, ya tiene una mente también un poquito más abierta. Que también hay que tener cuidado con ella. <risa> And then she mentioned that the type two for her is the one mm -hmm. they come from the campo. Those are the mm -hmm. ones that are more like reserved. They're more like house uh, housewife. And they are more reserved, and those, but that she said, the also she mentioned that those are like more, that was general how it was all of them before. But now then, because of how everything is so modern, like some of them are very too modern, and it's not like that for everybody 100%. But that would be for her, like type number two, but in my video, that is number three. Eh, me faltan dos. <laughs> ah. She has four types, so let's, let's sí. hear. La otra es ya, que es la, la que tiene la palabra la chapeadora, que esa es la que depende de, de un hombre, o sea, no que depende en el hogar de un hombre, sino ella puede vivir sola y simplemente con su cuerpo, su cara y siempre estar bien arreglada o estar con esa persona, simplemente sabe cómo sacarle dinero a esa persona <risa> y ya tiene mucha inteligencia mucho tigraje es la palabra and then she said for her the child number three is the one that we call chapeadoras that they live uh, by themselves and they use their body and their face to get money from people and they know how to do it because they are very smart and that is my video is number two but she have another child <laughs> y la última que es ya la típica dominicana trabajadora que ya esa es la independiente que ya esa es la que no depende de un hombre o sea puede vivir sola puede vivir con su familia pero eh, siempre trabaja para obtener lo suyo y si se y si está con un hombre es porque ya es porque ama a ese hombre quiere estar con ese hombre no es por cuestión de dinero Okay, and her last type is the one that is independent, that she can live by herself, but she's no making, do it, making money like una chapeadora. She just independent, she by herself, and she work hard. But if she like, if she's with a man, it's because she like that man, or she's in love with that man, not because she she is with him because of money. So yes, I can, I can agree with her. She divided in four. I did it on three, but I can agree with her how she described it. Because basically for her, her number uh, one and number four, it was my number three. Then she described the campo girl, that she's always your family. She was like more uh, guidance, senior guidance of a man to be, I mean, to be a housewife. 
and she's mixing with the one that probably live in the city. They all have the, the, the same mindset, but it's also independent because she lives by herself, but she's not with anybody for the money. When she's with a man, probably because she likes them or she's in love. So that is basically uh, what she did. We can, I can agree with it because there's a lot of women here in the city that have the same mindset, but they are independent. They live by themselves. They don't live with any family members. They don't live with the mom, but they are not up there just uh, making money that way. Mm -hmm. And the last question that I have for Margaret is, like for anybody that is out there, they're looking for a Dominican, good Dominican woman where they can go. So I'm gonna ask her her opinion to see um, where they can go. Margaret, la última pregunta que tengo para ti. Si hay alguien que anda buscando una mujer uh, dominicana buena para un noviazgo o para casarse o para conocerla, ¿a qué lugares, como qué lugares debe ir y frecuentar aquí, por ejemplo, a qué lugares, si por ejemplo están en Santo Domingo o en un, o en un pueblo, a qué lugares donde yo pueden ver e ir y conocer muchas domin mujeres dominicanas normales? Normales. Puede ser restaurante. Okay. Puede ser ir al trabajo o a una empresa o algo, que se ven que son mujeres que están trabajando. Pero si tú vas a conocer una mujer en una discoteca o, o en Sosúe, <risa> o en Puerto Plata, o en Bávaro, o sea, son lugares turísticos donde tú sabes que tú vas a encontrar mujeres que lo que están buscando son americanos, uh -huh. o sea, extranjero o español, o lo que sea. Pero... <risa> ok. Basically, she say that you can go to like in a restaurant or if you go like places like um, companies where you know that they are working. But if you go, I mean, in tourist places like Puerto Plata, Susua, or Bavaro, if you go and meet them over there, uh, you know, most of the, some of the women, no, uh, not all of them, but most of the women, they are looking for foreigners, not just American, but also uh, all, also European. So if you go and meet them over there, I'm not saying they, they are all the same, but if you, the chances are that they are looking for a foreigner person over there in those areas. Lo que yo digo es, si quieren encontrar mujeres buenas, búsquenlo como guía turística. Y nosotros lo llevábamos al lugar. <laughs> no. No, Donde yo... pueden encontrar mujeres buenas. Porque... Bueno, tú te quieres dedicar a eso porque yo no voy a seguir a turística. Well, Margaret said, if you want to go where good Dominican women are, just hire us as a tourist, uh, as a tour guide person, and we will take you there when they go good Dominican women are. Sí, porque... I will not be doing no. I will not be a tour person, a tour guide person. Probably she want to love, but I don't. Okay, lo digo porque si van solos, es obvio que, que siempre va a haber alguien que, ¿cómo que se dice? Cazadores. <risa> Cuando lo ven solo, o sea, ya, ya saben la diferencia de la cultura. Ah, oh, mira. O sea, porque mujeres buenas y mujeres malas la van a encontrar en todos lados. Simplemente tiene que saber y conocer el tipo de persona con la que tú te vas a casar. Ok, she said that good and bad women you can find them all over the island you just have to pay attention in me i mean to know the person that you are getting in, getting to knowing or trying to get married basically she's saying that you if you're gonna meet somebody you need to go with somebody because if you like if you go she mentioned that they tour guide person because she says sometimes when you go like a group of american if they see you they obviously know what you are, the, the different of the culture, and they will know who you are, and basically they go, okay, if it's somebody that is out there because that's what they want, they go really, really open their eyes, pay attention to you because you think you want a foreign person, they are not with you because they are serious. That's basically what she said. In bares o in discoteca, it's much more easy de conocerla uh -huh. porque se sociabiliza más ya en los restaurantes es eh, como siempre algo familiar uh -huh. eh, están con su gente tú no puedes ir a una mesa de que hablarle pero tú sabes que en una discoteca y en un bar te puedes encontrar toda clase de mujeres buena y mala ok si se de la de 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 but the only uh, problem with bars is, I mean, even bars and, uh, and discotheques, that you can go and socialize better. Because when 
women or people go to a restaurant here, they go with a circle. They either go with their family or friends, and it's difficult for somebody just to approach when they are in a group to meet someone. Um, but in a bar, you can go and approach someone to talk to them. But the only thing is that when you are in a bar, you're gonna, it's a mix of all type of women in there, bad and good. So just to recap it before I go, this video was basic to, basically to answer some of the questions that people have in my channel because I didn't want to answer them directly because I feel that I already had made a few videos talking about different of these uh, subjects. And it's not because she's looking for anyone today. This is not the subject. And we just have, was having a conversation about this. And then because I have so many questions for people asking me the same questions, we decided to make a video and then just ask for me to ask her opinion and experience and they, everybody can hear it. So that is all what I have for right now. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also share. And you will see more of me, of course, and Margaret. So see you next time. Bye.